Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to FTL Multiverse. Apologies, I'm still a little under the weather, so the commentary might be a bit subdued, but I was told about this mod. Everyone said it was really good. They said it was basically like FTL 2. So I went and had a look, and it looked really cool. And I thought we could try it out. I really liked the look of it. That's already a different ship. Oh, cool. Oh, that's really fucking cool. What the fuck is Mara? An orchid floral. The florals natively known as the Kitai. I don't know, are a friendly species of mostly pacifist plants which can buff your crew and refill oxygen. Refills oxygen doesn't work on ships without an O2 system. Takes a lot more damage from fire. Friendly crew in the same room gain an additional 20% max health repair speed and heal speed. They're really good. Interesting. Okay, have I got any other ships? No? Nope, this is my only ship, but apparently... Apparently, there are a lot of ships. Yeah. Wow, okay, cool. So this has got a burst laser, which is very standard, two shots, one damage per shot, and a pierce laser, a unique assault laser that can pierce additional shield layers. Shots per charge, two. Breach chance, 30%. So, oh, one shield piercing. Oh, that's really good, actually. Wow, that if that's a more commonplace weapon, that might change a lot of things, like how combat tends to go. This is an MV Kestrel. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Advanced Navigator. Allows the ship to jump to any previously visited beacon and reveals details about surrounding beacons. Lovely. Separatist Engi. The Separatist Engi have broken free from the control of the Harmony, a widespread program that controls the Engi and encourages sameness. Active ability. Toggles to Nanite mode where it ignores doors, resists mind control, and becomes damage resistant but cannot fight, repair, or heal. It's very interesting. Well, I, don't, uh, I think it's because my brain is a little compromised from my current state, but I don't even know where to begin with this. Okay. Um, the ship will be the warning. My ship is the warning, always, just like my mech. Uh, let's give it a go. We'll go on normal. Why not? See what the world's got. You take a look at the distant swirls of space as the stars fly past. This is the beginning of the next, ch next chapter in your saga. What will await you next? Before your mission begins, it might be time to prepare before you arrive at the warp bay. What would you like to do? Challenge levels locked. Get to Sector 8 to unlock them. Download the Federation database entries, heavily recommended for beginners. Proceed with your mission. Now, I assume you mean beginners to this mod specifically, not FTL. You've downloaded the database, which will now grant you the opportunity to read about various factions, individuals, or locations. This provides no physical benefit, but will help guide you on your path to success in your journey. We'll also provide detailed tutorials and new mechanics such as the Atlas or internal upgrades. Remind yourself of your mission. You, Captain, are now a central part of the largest known conflict in not just the galaxy, but the multiverse itself. After the conclusion of the original Federation Civil War in Universe Zero, your home reality, the Galactic Federation defeated Admiral Vance in the Rebellion, securing their control over the galaxy. Okay. The, Feri the Federation struggled with various other conflicts, most notably a Cold War between the Dangerous Coalition Alliance endorsed by the Slug Clep Kleptocracy, Mantis Hive, Rock Theocracy, and Ergen Republic. This conflict finally escalated into the invasion of Aquarian territory, resulting in heavy losses. After the Coalition's attack temporarily destabilized the Federation once again, Vance ran a covert operation from the Rebel Stronghold to attempt to salvage the heavily protected ancient ruins that the Coalition have been seeking as well. Though, though the full details are unknown, it is believed that among these ruins, Vance's team salvaged the first multiverse drive, which he would reverse engineer and install on the remaining Rebel fleet. After a Federation raid on the Rebel stronghold, Vance and his men fled to Universe 1 and allied with the rebellion of that reality to overthrow the Federation. Universe 1 now acts as the center of the interdimensional rebellion's operations, while Universe 0 leads the counterattack. Okay. Fruitless as though it might be, both sides are now locked into a seemingly unending conflict, invading realities to secure the strength and survival of their own faction. Make no mistake, though the Rebellion continues to perpetuate their title of a brave uprising, the Rebellion is well beyond a simple insurrection. Though intel is sparse, it would appear Universe 1 has been transformed into a desolate industrial dystopia, fueling the eternal gears of war that seek nothing less than the total annihilation of the Federation and all non-human species. This is in-depth. The whereabouts of Vance are currently unknown, though sightings of suspicious movements of the privately trained MFK Ace Corps, undyingly loyal to Vance Prime, have been seen all around the multiverse. The MFK Aces will likely prove to be your greatest threat, along with the powerful, redesigned flagship model dispatched to this reality to destroy the Federation base and secure a rebel victory. Okay. 
I am well informed. This is where you get involved. As a renegade hired by the Federation, your goal is simple. Destroy the flagship, and it is highly unlikely the Rebellion will be willing to dedicate any further efforts to capturing this reality. It is far more practical for them to divert the remaining Rebel forces to a different reality. If you fail, it is certain the Federation of this reality will fall, and this will become just another place in the Rebels' arsenal of enslaved realities. Okay. Oh boy, proceed for your mission. Yep. Yeah. Uh, name. Federation Multiverse Drop Point. Type friendly. Unique. True. <laughs> Dominant faction in the Federation. Rebel threat level medium. Neutral fleet. You're about to arrive at the nearest Federation warp bay. These hangar-like structures act as beacons of sorts for traveling between universes. Let's hope you're given a nice warm welcome and not greeted by a fleet of angry rebels or pirates, right? Exit hyperspeed. <laughs> you slowly exit hyperspeed, transitioning to a speed safe for landing and steer closer to the hangar below. There, your ship is stocked up and prepared to hang head out into this foreign ga galaxy. You hurry to your ship and realize you still have a little time before you leave. You likely have time to grab one last thing. Find another crew member, yeah. Confident with your new crew, you prepare to continue on your mission. Ariel. Finally suited up and ready to go, you take a look at your beacon map. Seems like you still have a while until the fleet becomes an immediate threat. You can spare some time to do something on the ship if you wish. Let's do something. What do you want to do? Perform a task. What task do you wish to perform? Run a salvage mission? You might be able to salvage any space junk in the nearby area. How do you wish to proceed? Send out a randomly assorted team. We'll only be able to do this once per sector. Sure. Your suits, you stew, your crew stumbles across an abandoned minefield. Certainly dubious, but also a potential source of a large amount of ammo and scraps. However, it's risky for the crew. Nah, just bring some. Okay, we did it. Hey, Ariel, how's it going? Assuming you're just a who man. Why don't you get to the shields? Are you not manning the weapons? Oh, because the weapons aren't active, I see. That's a point, actually. Upgrade the reactor, and then what? Bams. And now you're on there, and you're on there, and we've got a full crew, and what's this? Oh, this is just me being able to install an internal upgrade. Learn. Internal upgrades carry many different passive functions similar to augments, but can be installed at any storage check and do not fill augment slots. Internal augments do not always cost just scrap. As you purchase more systems or fill other requirements, more options will appear. Some internal upgrades may be mutually exclusive with other upgrades. You can select an internal augment to pre uh, preview a description of its function before purchasing it, but we don't have any money, so don't worry about it. Okay? Install the onboard lab. Requires stuff. Learn. The onboard lab, once installed, allows you to install modifications for species and specific crew types. You must have at least one of that crew of that species to be able to install modifications for it unless specified otherwise. All modifications apply retroactively into crew gained after the modification was installed. Lab modifications come in two forms, primary and secondary. Okay, well I can't afford it right now, so don't worry about it. Let's just go. Oh my god. Let's go... Okay, well I don't have any money, so the merchant is rather meaningless. Let's go here. It looks very good already, I must say. A blip on the communicator shows an incoming transmission from a Zoltan ship out of your field of view. When you pick up, you're greeted by the unwelcome sounds of a raving madman screeching about carrying beneath the prophet eye. He demands a prayer and offering or else suffer his wrath. No. The resultant shouts an insult or two at you, but eventually his ramblings go quiet and the ship jumps away. As far as you can tell, nothing bad has happened from this and likely never will. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm sure he'll ambush us at some point. We'll go here. I'd like to try and, you know, get as much stuff as I can. Oh boy. An abandoned supply cache drifts through space nearby. It must have been lost during an attack. You aren't sure who it belongs to, but you could use it for a trap against the fleet or try your luck with opening it. Set a trap. Yeah. This will throw them off for a bit. Let's just hope no civilians or feds get greedy and try to open it first. Fuck those guys. What's this? What's, what's this? Oh, the Renegade Collection, Equipment Expansion Pack. Wonderful. The Distress Beacon there. But I like the sound of Supply. Supply sounds pretty good. I could do a Supplies. The Beacon serves as a temporary outpost for Multiverse Drive equipped vessels established and maintained by the Federation. It appears you've arrived a little too late. Something, whether they be pirate or rebel, has raised this place and destroyed everything in sight. You grab what little salvage remains and carry on. Okay, a bit of a downer, but whatever. Move on. I love free money, so I'll take all the free money they can give me. 
Federation Supply Depot. A Federation officer who greets you apologizes and explains that they're short on supplies. The best they can offer is a small helping of fuel and scrap. That's more than we got from the last place, so I'm thrilled. I could install the lab. Fuck it. You install the lab. Check the onboard lab. Ooh, man. Interesting. What about Engi? There's a lot going on here. And I know I'm going to make all the wrong decisions. We'll go to the supply and then go down there to get to the distress beacon. This seems like a good idea to me. It is a little overwhelming. It's just a little bit overwhelming. Yep, this beacon has been outfitted with a multiverse supply depot. Little remains of the supply depot other than a small helping of scrap from the rubble to send a rebel vessel, but they don't seem interested in fighting. Yeah, well, fuck you. You prepare for battle. You get ready for combat. What do you want to do? Do some last minute checkups while we charge the weapons. As the enemy ship approaches, you look for what you can do. There will be no verification for any of these options, so make sure you're set on what you select. That's really cool, actually, that you can do these things. I don't need to. And we can't, we don't have any missiles, so we don't need those anyway. Never mind, let's fight. Let's just fight. Let's do a big fight. Attack weapons. Uh, you two. Actually, only one of you can, but you, get over here and help me. There's problems. Funnily enough, I'm still technically piloting the ship while being attacked. There we go, weapons are gone. Take that, losers. Auto fire. Take out their shields. We killed their border. I'm gonna go heal. You pilot the ship for a bit. It's cool, it's cool. You got it. Don't worry about it. There we go. Easy done. Knock them out. One more. Oh, that laser sounds cool. I like the sound of that laser. Yes, I did. Yeah, very much so. Just before the rebel ship explodes, an escape pod ejects from it. Unfortunately, it doesn't get far before you collect it and bring it on board. Now you open it and drag out the rebel officer inside. They beg you that you let them live. Yeah, you can join me. Ah! Oh, the rebel puts on a facade of gratitude, which is shattered quickly when he pulls out a laser and blasts one of your crew. He shouts, Rebellion forever, before he is shot in return. You drag his lifeless body to the airlock and send him into the endless vacuum of space. I'm dead. <laughs> God damn, I die quicker and quicker with every run of this game. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Ariel, you're the new captain of the ship. Good luck. <laughs> it's not a very good job. <laughs> But still, we killed our first rebel ship, so that's pretty cool. Whoa, that's a ship. To your surprise, an orchid ship is waiting for you here. Sure, they're a loyal part of the Federation, but the Florals typically prefer to keep to their own turf. What's this about? I'll wait for them to hell. An orchid appears on screen, gesturing with their hands in native orchid sign language, which your translator converts into actual audio. Hello, you must be Professor Orwell. We have reviewed the files you gave us and are most excited to share our scientific findings with the board. We have left we have left a few annotated questions for your review and we'll send them over along with payment shortly. I'm not Orwell though. Oh, I am terribly sorry. Would you happen to know the location of the professor? No fucking clue. Understandable. I appreciate your straightforwardness. Nurse, good day. The orchid ship jumps away, but not before leaving you with your few cells as a customary gift. That's nice. Thank you. These plant people are pretty cool. Distress beacon at the store? Okay. I guess I'll head up that way. I might try and get down there, but I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Still want to stay ahead of the rebel fleet, after all. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. You must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. But we can try and set them free. You fire a few volleys into the rock and it starts to shudder and break apart. Without shields, the pirate ship takes a beating, but eventually pulls free and they thank you for your assistance. Hey, no worries, man. It's cool. We're all friends here. What can I do with the weapons? What about the shields? Electrical insulation? Your crew are immune to stuns while in the shield room. Eh. Is there anything else I can do with it? Boost shield recharge by 17% can be installed up to three times. Oh, can we sort out the engines with something big? Speeds up FCL charge by 30%. Oh, I don't want that. No, no, I want, I want extra dodging. 
We'll wait for now before spending anything, because I want to see what we can buy. There must be some good weapons to purchase, surely. A free mantis greets you eagerly. Oh, that's a really cool ship. Their broken dialogue challenging the translator to keep up. Oh, Federation Captain, I asking of you if you are worthy of my support. Yes, I having faith, but I must seeing proof. Fighting me, winning, and I joining of crew. Just knowing be careful, I not taking mercies on you. Okay, yeah, we can go. We can fucking go. The battle shall commence sing. You'll have to rough their hull up a bit to win. If you kill them all, there won't be anyone left to join your crew. Okay, do nothing. All right. Cool. That's not good. They're better fighters than us. They're just straight up better fighters than us. Okay, well, they can have the fucking pilot room for a bit, I guess. Make sure you give it back in the same condition you found it, hey. There we go. That's not great. We might need to deal with them, though. If we want to have weapons. Then again, we also kind of need the pilot seat. Got an idea. How about you drown? There we go. You winnings, most gracious of fighters, as promised, I'm coming with. Yes, you have on sea, you absolute legend. You almost crippled my ship, but glad to have you here, buddy. Pheromone? What, what the deal with pheromone? Yeah, there's charge. Increase movement speed to three times and crew damage to 2.2 times. So does he just do a lot more damage? Very cool, either way. All right, Yevon, well, you can go work on the shields in the meantime. Happy to have you. We've got a nice, diverse crew. You'll love to see it. And now next time we get boarded, we've got an actual fighter who can help us. Curse to me, though. I want to get a react upgrade because I want engines working at full capacity because the only thing better than blocking a shot with shields is to dodge it entirely. To no surprise, an MV Rebel is accosting a nearby civilian store owner. That's a big fucking ship. Let's rescue the store. You prepare for combat. Do nothing, we're good to go. Oh my god, it's got like a fucking cutting laser and a... I think that's like a hole breaching laser. There's a big tough ship. Oh, you sent a border, you poor fool. Yevon yeah, C's gonna have fun with you. Oh yeah, we took out their- I was too busy watching those two fight. Yeah, we took out their shields, lovely. Good job, buddy. Well done. Get to the med bay, because I don't want you to die. Oh yeah, they're fucked now. Any last words, dickbags? Yeah, that's what I thought. Ship breaks apart, you quickly salvage what you can. You have rescued the store from their attackers. The store owner offers to trade. Well, why not give me something? Oh, hello. Human medic. Ooh, okay. The friendly free mantis have rebelled from the hive and now live their lives independent and addicted to their synthesized pheromones. Cool. I love that there are subtypes now. Tyke. Like Tycho? The AI in Marathon? Rhymes with Psycho. Slow charging two damage missile weapon. Conservative weapons use no power but require another weapon to be powered. Did you know that Marathon was referencing Roland and Durandal long before Library of Aruna was? Well, I just don't know what these are. <laughs> That's a fun idea. Get a random drone at a discount. I like it. <laughs> I would quite like to get some more crew members, but I worry that I'd be limiting my ship's progression if I just got a bunch of crew members. Fuck it, we'll get Aisha, right? Because we'll have her do shields instead. Because Yevon C is better suited to, like, you know, moving around the ship and fighting people and stuff. So, if someone does board, Aisha can stay on shields to give us that bonus, while Yevon C goes to take care of them. And if they send more than one border, well, now we have more people to help deal with it. This makes sense to me. But we have no more money. In terms of money, we have no money. I doubt I'm going to get any money from the Mantis store, but you never know. 
A mantis crew here has hunkered down the abdomen of a long dead space whale, the only way presumably for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look? Sure. Your approach is met by a curious mantis ship with distinct spikes of power in their weapon system. Federation come to shut down? Refusal! I mean, I could do with money. Well, now that you mention it. We are not tolerating of this. We steal goods and sell goods. Fair and rectangle. <laughs> Federation not take away right. My right to steal. Hey, there's a guy in there. Go take care of him. We'll move uh, Maurer out of there if we need to. That's it. Take care of him. You have on C is so fucking good. Oh my god, did I, I- you nearly killed. You nearly killed. Nearly killed. Don't do that. They're fucked though, there's nothing they can do now. And all their crew are stuck in those rooms as well. Yep, off they go. Lovely. You know that without ever knowing their names, you have just avenged hundreds of innocent people by destroying this ship. Is that, perchance, just a little bit racist? <laughs> I think it might be. Save your current crew positions, yes please. That's something I forgot to do in the video, but I've always been a big fan of the saving crew positions button. Saves a lot of time, as it turns out. I really had to push myself to start this recording, right? Because I'm feeling, you know, under the weather. I'm really glad I did. This mod is dope. This mod is so good. I'm, I've barely started and it it's awesome. I love it. It's just great. <laughs> Don't know what else to say for it. It's just really good. We'll save our money for now because, yeah, there's a Federation store up there, or a merchant down there. But, yeah, the Rebels are closing in. We might not have time to fuck around. <laughs> the Federation Station! The Federation Supply Depot is set up on the nearby planet. They won't give anything away for free, but that doesn't mean they won't be open to trade. Hey, goddammit, we're a Federation ship. Give us stuff! No, I'll just trade. It's cool. No, I'm good. What is this? Oh, that's a Zoltan. Zoltans look way cooler in this game. God damn. Now, I can't afford anything, which doesn't surprise me, really. We'll buy one fuel to bring us up to 10. And I guess we'll just save our money. Save our money for the future. We've got a decent crew, which I'm pleased with. You've reached the end of the first step of your journey, however, it appears you aren't alone. The rebel fleet must have sent one of their fighters after you. The rebel captain says nothing but imitates a pair of guns with his fingers and draws a line across his throat. When did the rebels get so childish? Do not. Ever. Ever. Besmirch the name of doing finger guns. Finger guns are hype as fuck. Finger guns are the status symbol of a suave and sophisticated motherfucker. Just ask Harry Dubois, okay? Enough said. Fight. I have to kill him, though. But for what it's worth... Hey, look, it's Finger Guns guy. <laughs> he will get my full attention. We will take him very seriously. For what it's worth. He looks like he's actually fighting quite well. Which concerns me. Can you get in there and help sort him out? Because the other see is actually struggling a little bit. That's surprising. Damn, that guy's tough. Get to med bay and rest. We shouldn't have to worry, really. We should oh, okay, well, he's left now. Get back to shields. Or, you know, just get back to there. Well, we wrecked his ship. Oh my god, Lucerne Beam? You successfully defeated the rebel ship. You now have some time to do something else on the ship. Did you just give me my favorite Dark Souls 3 weapon as a gun? I don't know why the Lucerne's my favorite, but I love that thing. Nah, no tasks, but yeah, we just have a Lucerne now. Interesting. Very interesting. Very cool. Back to your saved positions. Excellent job, crew. Very happy to see it. Two times hull damage on systemless ruin rooms, which is interesting. It doesn't have any shield piercing, though, so really, we'd want to use this in conjunction with the Pierce 1 laser. If we stopped using the burst laser, we would only need one more hour to make this work, which means we're going to need to save up a little bit. But in a situation in which, we've in which we've actually knocked out their shields, we could switch from Pierce to Lucerne, 
That could be pretty cool. All right, well, time to move on. Next scepter. Scepter. Free mantis parts. I want to go see the... Ooh, I want to go see the free mantis. I like the free mantis. They're possibly the most charming characters I've come across so far. While in hyperspeed, you have several options. You can proceed to your next sector or do something aboard the ship first. Learn about the atlas. Oh my god. The atlas is used to guide ships through hyperspace and ensure they do not jump into hazardous conditions. To do this, sectors must enter the coordinates of their star beacon into the atlas so that ships may be directed to it. Your atlas is currently pulling from the Federation database, but may be updated with new coordinates you find on your travels. This all seems fairly... I'm, I'm fine with it. Let's just keep going. Name. Free Mantis Controlled Sector. Type Friendly. Unique. False. Dominant Faction. The Free Mantis. Rebel Threat. Medium Low. The Free Mantis have captured the Sector from the Zoltans. Though their addiction to pheromones may degrade their intelligence, the Free Mantis are exceedingly loyal to the Federation. I love the Free Mantis. Hey, buddy. The Free Mantis are a nomadic culture, traveling in small clans of ships. Luckily, they often sympathize with the Federation, and you should find little danger in their wandering tribes. As for other encounters here, however, that stands up to debate. Free Mantis! Their ships are so fucking cool, though. Look! I love that! I love everything about that! This enemy can teleport crew or bombs and mind control through energy shields. Its ordinary projectiles will still be unable to penetrate through. And use invasion tactics. The Free Mantis, while disorganized as a group, can all agree that this sector must be kept free of control from the Mantis Hive. As such, as such a guard ship protects its beacon, but they don't disturb you. I'll say hi. An eager Free Mantis warrior responds, happy to assist with whatever you might need. God, I love these guys. Hey, can we have a warrior? We got Yev. We got the Yevon Seer with us, you know. You needing a soldier? Almost oh, certainly. I come with you, Lauren. Lauren, welcome! I love you, Lauren. Now we have an anti-boarding pie. Two, two mantises will take care of most things. And they're different colors as well, they thought of that. They're not all just the same color, they're different. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, free mantis for life. Absolute stacked up units. Love them all. I really fucking do. I liked Manti uh, the Mantis in, in FTL1, but I love them here. I called it FTL1 as if this is actually FTL2. It's not, but I guess it may as well be. Ever since the Free Mantis stepped foot in Ministry territory, the two factions have been going at it for years. It looks like a Zoltan vessel is assaulting a Free Mantis outpost, but as soon as they see you, they think you've come to assist the Mantis in attack. You are correct, I would assist the Mantis. Do nothing, let's get started. I would absolutely assist the Mantis, they are such bros. The broiest, even. Oh, we're on fire! That's okay, actually, I can fix that quite easily. We have to break through their shields, though, because it's a Zoltan ship, so that's going to take a while. But once we do, they don't actually have normal shields, so they're... Oh, I forgot to do this. That's okay, we're dealing with it. This music's really good. This music's really fucking good. Stop setting fire to my ship, you dick. We should help Mara because, uh, as far as I can tell, she's, like, really vulnerable to fire damage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to fire. Whoops. Uh, 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 uh. Let me just deal with you real quick. Two sec. Yep. Yep. That'll do. Yeah, that fucked you up. Very good. Another ship full of Zoltans has been reduced to scrap matter. You scrap their ship. The Free Mantis you've saved are extremely happy to see you. Oh, glorious Federation, you're always coming when times of need. Our lives belong to yours, taking plenty scrap. I... <laughs> I would die for the Free Mantis, straight up. I would absolutely, 100%, sacrifice myself and my crew to save them. And I will put my money where my mouth is if it becomes necessary. <laughs> They're such nice friends. I also fear, ever so slightly, that the Federation may exploit them a little bit. It, I just, I'm just kind of getting that impression from the interaction so far that the Federation kind of takes advantage of their naivety and lack of intelligence, as it is described. So I want to do everything I can to help them, because they're cool and they're being really nice to us. Get rid of Burst, get Lucerne, let's fucking go. And I want to get another weapon upgrade as well. Have three guns, three guns, three. God, I love having weapons. 
Once we do that, though, we're gonna need to look into defensive shit because, oh boy, we're a bit fragile. Wait, why is this guy hostile? You are held by a free mantis ship whose captain immediately begins to slander you. Rebel scum, you'll rue the day you messed my clan. I will remove head and bring it as gift to my Federation friends. He roars and ends the transmission. You aren't sure how they confuse you as a rebel ship, but it looks like there's no talking your way out of this one. No! Can we just, like, disable their ship and then talk again? I don't want to hurt them. What if they beam onto our ship and see that we have, like, two free mantises on here? Well, there's nothing else to be done now, I guess. That's upsetting. I don't want to hurt you, buddy, but I can't let you destroy my ship. I can't. Oh, you're in here now. Okay, go in there. Yeah, just do some overall damage. There we go. Please surrender before it's too late. Although, I've just noticed a nefarious opportunity, right? <laughs> um, if that breach in there... You know, because he can't repair very quickly. That might kill that Mantis. Which would allow us to salvage the entire ship. It could happen. Ooh, come on, nearly there. So close. No, he ran away. That's probably smart. Okay, all right. Let's wrap this up. Sorry, buddy. But you did try to kill us. Though there is no written truce between the Free Mantis and Federation, the Free Mantis have tried desperately to earn the Federation's respect, even going as far as worship. Now you've destroyed an entire ship of them. Are you sure that you're the good guy? I didn't fucking mean to. I didn't want to. That was not a thing I wanted to do. I'm quite upset about it, actually. <laughs> Now that you mention it. <laughs> I wanted to help my friends. Upset. A little bit upset. <laughs> a lone free mantis ship nearby hails you. That is a really cool ship. You are greeted by a mantis dressed in a shirt decorated with 2D tropical flowers and wearing a bizarre beaten sombrero atop his head. Welcome to Beacon. I wish to show you most amazing prize of mine, but you must earn it. Okay. Perfect! Prepare combat! His weapons go online and you ready yours. If you want to prove yourself, you'll have to go for their hull and spare them in time. Okay. Don't board us! No, you're gonna get yourselves killed. Oh my god. Uh. Okay. It might just take them a while to get through the doors. They are going for that room, though. Ah, uh, that's a bit of an issue. You're gonna have to get down there. I'm going to see if I can... I, I love trying to line these up real... Yeah, hit the most systems possible. Oh my god, what have you done to my ship? <laughs> what have you done to my ship? My hull... Oh my god, what are you doing to my security force? Yikes. Don't use the Lucerne again, that will almost definitely kill them. <laughs> that laser is something serious. You are held by the free mantis again. He remarkably shows no concern, signs of concern about his potential demise. Very good. First human to defeat me. Spare him. He lowers his voice to a whisper. This rock. Very, very special. It glow and can replicate itself. It even go boom. I trust it with you, noble fighter. Recycler bomb? Oh my god. Uh, uh, things got a little spooky there. So what the fuck does recycler bomb do? I can also hear that there is still a breach in the hull. Yeah, it's there. That's fine. Get in there and fix it, lads. Sometimes the mantises, you know, they cause a couple problems, but they mean well. They mean well. They mean well. They are chaotic good. I don't care, they're my friends. So what the fuck does a recycler bomb do? Self-teleporting explosive that converts useless materials into explosives has a longer cooldown but does not require ammunition. That's incredible. Okay, I want to make use of that, yeah. 
I guess we're going to be leaning hard into our weapon systems. But it seems like it's going to be worth it. In that case, I just want to hit as many hot points as possible to, you know, get as much scrap as I can. The occasional space junk flies by, but nothing worth for even firing from a flak cannon. Do nothing. Zoltan's stores? Are they even going to be friendly? Considering we're friends with the Mantis? That is my favorite ship by a wide margin. That is... That, that ship was made for me. Please tell me I can get that thing. I need it. I really need that ship. According to this beacon, a Zoltan merchant is here, but all you see is a very not Zoltan and not merchant free mantis warlord nearby. Hey man, how's it going? Huh? We are what now? Broadcasting store beacon? Oh, I am seeing. Stolen part from Zoltan merchant, thinking it was fancy teapot. Feeling bad now. You wanting to buy things anyways? Can I have some loot? You are wanting Zoltan gun? You lucking, for we are having Zoltan gun. Take it. Yours it is now. Thanks. Oh, and they're going to sell to me as well. Jesus Christ, you guys are amazing. And the pike laser. Special loot weapon. See tooltip in the inventory to check the improvements over the base version. Beam is super fast. Plus 20 length. Minus one second cooldown. Plus 20% fire chance. Holy crap. Stop throwing amazing weapons at me. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get the upgraded pike laser. And I guess... I like the Lucerne, I really do, but... That can cause fires, and... Yeah, just generally do good stuff. Beam length 190, beam... This, this thing's way longer as well, so you can hit, like, an entire ship with this thing. Okay, I'm gonna sell the Lucerne. Maybe that was a poor idea, but... I'm gonna. Energy cannon! Energy weapons can disable hot systems while also causing hull damage. And you have crew. Chris Phillips! I kind of want to recruit Chris Phillips. But it would be a big waste of money. <laughs> I'm a recruit Chris Phillips. Fuck it. Damn that pike laser, though. Damn, 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 damn. Olufsen, you're going to have a lot of toys to play with. That's such a cool ship. God damn. All right, moving on. This mod is awesome. I love it. You have jumped into the aftermath of what seems to have been a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens, and you can still see the remains of the dying ships sparking and breaking apart. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. Let's use our sensors. Oh, what? You scan the battlefield and find a prototype military vessel in the debris. The crew has been killed, but their working prototype weapon array is still intact. You salvage it and bring it aboard. Asclepius missiles. What? A powerful missile loaded with toxic chemicals that cripples any crew that aren't right killed by the impact. So this is a this is a ship emptier as opposed to a ship destroyer. Radiation weapons do bursts of heavy crew damage, have minor breach chances, and weaken crew that are hit for 10 seconds. Afflicted crew will move and repair 60% slower, 66% slower, and will be stunned 75% longer. That's cool. It doesn't quite fit with what we're doing, but that's still very cool. And I bet it's worth quite a lot of money and would sell for quite high. Which will allow us to get our weapon systems going. And then we need to look into defensive bonuses, because my god. We're a little vulnerable. A lone Zoltan trading vessel awaits you at the beacon. Its crew sends you a simple message. We have military goods available for sale. Delightful. As soon as you dock, a swarm of Zoltan military guards grab your crew and pin them to the ground. One of the guards pulls out a scanner and starts to analyze them. What are you doing? The guards pull back, holding onto one of your crew. This one here is a fugitive of the Zoltan ministry. Turn them in or there will be no further... And there will be no further consequences for your crew or vessel. Fuck that. No. Your crew push off the guards and draw your weapons. Looks like a fight is nigh. Do nothing. We're ready. I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... My Mantis guards can handle a couple of Zoltans. I'm pretty fucking sure. Curse me, the pike beam won't get through the shields, so set this up, get this going. Oh, they're fucked. There's absolutely no way. Oh, they explode on death. Oh, that's spooky. Okay, didn't know they did that. Go back to safe positions. You go in the med bay. I don't want you dying to a lucky shot like you nearly kind of did. Okay, well, that was a whole thing, yeah. Oh, jeez. 
Gee willikers, Batman. What happened? You get in there. Oh, ooh, that wasn't good. Okay, all right, we're going to need to do some moving around. Get control of these fires, get oxygen back online. Stop knocking out my shields! Oh, that's... No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, they might die anyway. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not ideal. Uh, Get back on weapons and you get back on shields and... Please stop being stunned. You get out now. You get over there. We'll just vent that. It'll be fine. You knocked out our weapons. God, I wish you wouldn't do that. This has been a bit of a kerfuff. Okay, you're going that way. All right, good. I need you to go the long way around. And get back to med bay. I don't want any of my mantises done. No, 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 no. Well, maybe. Yes, that's fine. Okay. A little stressful. Now, go down there. Yes. We've got to knock out their weapons. That's spooky. Oh. You can close those doors now. The weapons are back online. Okay, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Pike laser. Yep. The Zoltan ship is heavily damaged. They offer some goods if you'll let them live. Nah, fuck you. you. Nearly killed my mantises. Not acceptable. It's not on. Will not accept it under any circumstances. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, baby, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> He's fucking dead. It's no wonder the Dustbringers hate the Federation so much when you kill Zoltan ships with such gusto. They started it. They literally started it. Now, sure, one of our crew may or may not have been uh, considered a criminal in their society, but they could have at least told us what they were doing instead of just immediately trying to, you know, arrest us or whatever. With one more reactor upgrade, we'll be able to... Oh no, sorry, we need another weapon upgrade and a react two reactor upgrades, and then we can have the... Uh... Oh, I see, yes. Okay, so do it like that. One more... We need more reactor upgrades. We need two more reactor upgrades and one more weapon upgrade. Okay. A lot happens there. A lot happened. Got a little overwhelmed. You receive a message from a small convoy. They're looking for some military supplies and are offering to try to improve your reactor in exchange. Yeah, go on then. You make the exchange and their team comes on board to try and improve your reactor and apparently succeeded. Very good. Now... Actually, we'll get the burst laser up first because that's probably more useful. Lots of firepower. We are a little low on supplies, so we should keep that in mind. All we really need is fuel. We can buy more fuel. If we need to. Rebel ships are all about firing upon a group of unarmed civilians and a free man to ship escorting them. You haven't been noticed. Take on the biggest ship to scare off the smaller rebels. So I went for the big one. Like you do. You target the strongest of the rebel ships, an elite bomber. This won't be fun. No, I can't imagine. We do some last minute checkups. Do a little repair. Okay. What the fuck is that? They've sent a boarding party. Get them. Get him. Those rebels are quite tough in melee. Ah, then we're taking hits. Okay. Wait for it. There we go. Go for their shields. There we go. Good. Now, quickly. Before it's too late. Pike beam the shit out of them. Good stuff. That's given them something to think about. Youch. That's not good. You need to get down there and fix the med bay because we might need it very soon. You two go do it as well. Okay, they left. You two get over there and help fix the engines. Shields are down. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, just in time for them to not die. Wow, good. Okay, well, you two aren't needed in there anymore. Go fix the shields. Come on. Ugh. Oh no, they knocked out our fucking halberd laser or pike leg beam just before we could do it. Ah. Why? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Leave me alone. Stop it. That drone is a nightmare. There we go. That was rough. To your surprise, you emerge victorious. The other rebel ships scatter, afraid you'll go after them next. You scrap the hull of your most recent victim. Contact the civilians and free mantis. It appears the civilian ships are in worse condition than you thought. thought. The free mantis thanks you, but there is little to do to save the few survivors. They give you some extra fuel for your troubles. That is helpful. We did need fuel, admittedly. Well, go patch the hull, and then everyone needs a nice rest. Pretty much everyone does, actually. Everyone got hurt during that fight, but... Ariel's becoming a very good pilot. I'm delighted with. She's an excellent captain. I want to try and get the medbot dispersal, which allows us to heal wherever we are on the ship, albeit slower than if they were in the med bay. Because that'd help me keep my crew alive, which seems quite important. Feels like there's a lot more uh, weapons and mechanics and stuff now in this version that actually target your crew, which is a little scary. God, I hope there isn't a fucking uh, hostile ship here. We, could, we just want repairs. Looks like a Mantis trader is here. These are pretty hard to come by, and you wonder if you'll be willing to trade with a Federation vessel. Yeah, he's just Mantis as opposed to Free Mantis. Please be friendly. Hail. Oh, no. Federation wanting to trade. Haha, I laugh. You're wanting earning right to trade, then we fight to death. The Mantis doesn't even give you time to explain that you can't trade if you're dead and attacks. Maybe if you beat them up a little, they'll listen. Well, they're about to board, so... Let's make some last-minute repairs, just in case. Okay, very good. Yep, they're gonna board. Get them, lads. Everyone get in there and beat them up. There we go. They should have that on lock. That should be fine. Want to get the pierce laser up. There we go. Hit shields. Good. And then absolutely tank their fucking weapons. The Mantis ship looks pretty beat up. Maybe you can convince them to stop now. If you're dead, we can't trade. Oh, hum. You are making many of senses. Okay, I'm stopping. Thank you. Thank you kindly. We'll sell this. Big money. Um, I can't fully repair the ship, but I do need some repairs. There we go. Wonderful. And they completely destroyed my fucking door control. Do you know how expensive that is? Well, time to bell from this sector. It certainly has been a fucking adventure. You've arrived at Long Range Beacon. When the FCR is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Let's explore. Ah, you see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. It seems a bit unfair to attack them. They're an independent. Leave them be. You have no need for the station services. Check the storage. Form a task. Run a salvage mission. Yeah, fuck it. Don't take the risk. Just bring stuff back. Very good. Yeah, they're right here now, so it's time to leave. We can either go to Spectral Space or Theocracy Turf. Theocracy is outright hostile, and... Uh, spectral Space probably has a bunch of problems associated with it. If nebulas are anything to go by. Let's go to the Theocracy. I want to see what the rocks are all about. You've entered hyperspeed. It must be an interesting life as a civilian who never leaves their home planet. It's a tough choice for sure, but the life of a traveler is one you'd never pass up. While in hyperspeed, you have several options. Nah, let's just proceed. Name, rock controlled sector, type, hostile, unique, false, dominant faction, rock theocracy, rebel threat level, low. The rock government holds an iron fist over its citizens and the rock men are devoted to their faith. Though ignorant of the truth and generally aggressive, it's not impossible to avoid a rockman's wrath. Great, let's see if we can. The rock people have a particularly aggressive stance toward alien races trespassing in their space. You should tread carefully here. 
Okay, well, immediately they're hostile. The guard hails you. You dare intrude on the Elder's Holy Land. We will destroy you. Okay, well, I guess we're here now, aren't we? You rush to defensive positions as the guard approaches menacingly. Do nothing. Well, all right then. I guess we're doing this now, aren't we? And they're going to board. Yep, they're in there. Rocks don't do exceptional amounts of damage, but they have a lot of health. I forgot to actually fire. That's not helpful. See if you can take out their shields. Okay. Oh, not good enough, actually. You failed. Very annoying. Um, you back off. You go in there. Just gonna need to fend them off for a bit. You're dying, I've noticed. You get back in there. Wait, their shields are down. Now's the time. Get them. It appears the guard ship is sending out a distress signal to a nearby ASB platform. Brace for impact. That's not what I wanted to see. Gotta be honest. I was kind of hoping you'd just give up. Well, we did some damage at least. Oh boy. Please don't. I'd, I'd really prefer it if you didn't. We've almost got him. Knock him the fuck out. There we go. You've defeated the rock guard. Whatever might have been in their cargo has for certain been destroyed, but you can at least salvage some supplies from the ship. And it's better than nothing. By killing the rock guard, you have no doubt caused them to dispatch reinforcements to track you down. Watch your step as you explore the sector. Uh, fantastic. Great. Brilliant. Asteroid field, you know, the place where rocks do really well. Rock ships specifically. No thanks, I'm good. We might not have enough fuel to get out of here. You intercept chatter from an approaching rock ship. Weapons moving in to engage, arm the tubes. There is no talking to these guys. Fantastic. Okay, well let's do this then, shall we? Again. And two rock men are going to invade us again. I think we'd be better off taking all of them at once. Like in a room with four spaces. No, not you, not you, not you, not you. No, no, no. You didn't knock out their shields, that's unfortunate. But oh my god, you knocked out our sensors. Why would you do that? You go in there. You fix the sensors. Oh no. Oh, it's looking pretty bad already, isn't it? Okay, you need to get out of there. Um, oh boy. Thanks for really just... Okay, I think we can actually close that now, because instead of doing it this way, we'll just get a bunch of people in there to put out the fire. Okay. Oh, we've knocked out their shields. All right, excellent. Um, knock out a bunch of their stuff. Oh god, they knocked out our oxygen. Stop. These guys are for real. The rock ship moves into a defensive position and transmits a white flag signal. They seem to be willing to buy their lives. Yeah, I'll accept it. Fuck it. Oh my god, stop! Fuckers. Yeah? You just got had to get one more shot in, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, because that's fair. Totally. Not impressed. You two go over there and fix- No! Oh, that's awkward. That's very awkward. You take less suffocation damage, don't you? You can last long enough. You need to get. F oh no! No! <laughs> you need to repair the doors. Well, this was costly. Luckily, there's no oxygen in there, so that's helpful. Oh. That's very upsetting. 
<laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you absolutely deserve it. Killed two of my sweet innocent children. Not impressed, not pleased. I only got three missiles for the trouble as well, and I should point out we don't use missiles. I only accepted it so they'd stop shooting at me, but they'd already fired off a salvo when they made the offer. Fuckers. Well, it's a good thing we did buy so much crew, or we'd be in a lot more trouble now. Yevon Sir, the OG. This place is rough. I think we're gonna run into a lot of trouble here. A loud thud resounds through the ship after jump completion. You've just shunted a rock fighter and he's already preparing to fire. Uh, last minute checkups. Uh, I'd like to repair. Yeah, I would. Okay, let's go. Oh, he's got cloaking. Brilliant. So we have to sit here and do nothing for a while while he shoots at us. Yep. Lovely. Ah, you shot... <laughs> shot a rock at us. Crazy. I wait for the piercing bursts to be ready and then fire them very soon one after the other. I want Pierce to go first. God damn, they keep shooting us with rocks. The pioneers used to ride these babies for miles and it's in great shape. They're getting plenty of time to repair their systems as well, which is very annoying. God, I could do with cloaking. Stop it! Stop it! I've had enough of this. How about some of these? Yeah, fires and stuff. Make you stop and think. Yeah, abandon your shields, loser. Fuck them. The Rockmen may not be sworn enemies of the Federation, but you still feel no guilt about destroying this ship, mostly. I feel none. No compassion whatsoever. Not after what they did to my crew and my ship. Get another power bar, and then soon, soon-ish, we'll be able to upgrade the weapons, and then we can send bombs onto people's ships, and that'll be fun. Oh, fuck yeah. Sell 10 missiles. Thank you very much. Very nearly there now. I'm kind of trying to avoid enemy ships at the moment because we've suffered a bit. It seems the Zoltan ship came here to liberate a rock settlement from their oppressive belief system and that the settlement did not appreciate it. Long range scanners suggest the Zoltan and their pursuers will be here at any moment. I can't capture. I'm just going to leave. This is none of your concern. I'm very, very damaged. I don't know if you've noticed. You arrive at the next beacon only to be immediately held by a small shuttle. Help with being attacked by pirates. I'll help. I will. That's a small ship. It's a slug ship. I, I think it's a slug style ship. Breaches on this enemy will automatically be repaired even in the absence of crew. Also provides 35% combat resistance and 50% hazard resistance in empty rooms. We should probably repair the ship a little bit, yeah. Everyone's got, like, two shields now, which is actually a little concerning for us. I don't know what that laser is. Whatever it is, it missed, so that's good. It fired again. Fire this. What did that do to you? Oh my god, you're absolutely tearing apart the hull. Stop! We need oxygen. Please do not tear apart the hull anymore. There we go. The pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. They're grateful and they give you a drone. One drone. A singular drone part. Fucking... Ugh. We are dying. We're dying. What is your deal? What does this mean? Okay, it's gone now. Alright. I'm going to assume everything's fine then. You should go heal. I don't think this recycler bomb is going to make enough of a difference. You know, I don't think it's really worth the amount of, like, work we're putting in. But at the same time, you know, we know rock are hostile. We don't know about coal. Let's try and visit coal. 
We need repairs and fuel. Coalition. Oh, coalition. All right, coalition jailer. A coalition merchant is present. Quite the oddity, considering these Federation wannabes consist of perhaps of the four most aggressive races in the galaxy, except slugs, but they aren't very nice either. Maybe we'll get lucky. To your luck, the ship doesn't attack immediately. Ah, uh, the Federation coalition is not what I expected. We do not fight for holy glory, only squabble. Why not be a freelance? A bounty hunter, a mercenary, you suggest I become a pirate, we rock men no more honor than that, you are foolish and naive, so we're going to kill you, I guess? Okay. Oh, uh, fine, alright, let's make last minute repairs, okay, let's go then, oh no. Oh god, oh no. Oh, that's not great. Well, okay, fine. We're gonna need to get rid of that mind control thing, aren't we? She's about to destroy the cockpit, which will damage the hull, by the way. And it's also lowered our, uh, yeah, evasi evasiveness to zero. Okay, there are uh, things currently down. You can hit the weapons from there. Do so. That nearly killed us. But we did slow them down a little bit. Ah! <laughs> ah! No! Frightening. Good. I hope that pike laser charges soon. It does not. Okay, cancel that. Oh, god damn. Oh god, mind control again. Okay. You can tell it's hard for the coalition captain to admit, but they have invested and they offer a surrender. I accept. Just stop shooting at me. Thank you. Good fucking lord. Okay. Right, well. So upgrade the weapon systems. Is this a bad idea? Yes, but I don't care. Now we've got more weapons, and this will help us, surely. Let's fucking leave, please. Alright, let's explore. Let's look for survivors. All around you is a stench of death. There's, like, no one here. You get scrap. It's, it's lovely. You love to see it. Well, we're hanging on by a thread. We could go to more places, but in our current condition, I think, uh, you know, that would be suicide, either of those. I don't think the rock store is going to sell to us. I think we should just leave. Oh, because Lawless will be so much better. Let's try out Spectral Regions and see what it's like. This is an LP, after all. You've entered hyperspeed. You make a quick trip to the engines to listen to the FTL drive hum away as it works. While in hyperspeed, yeah. Spectral Nebulae. Type. Hostile. Nebula. Unique. False. Dominant faction. Spectral Dynasty. Rebel threat level. High. Auto fleet. Don't expect to see many manned rebel ships here. The rebellions fight against the ghosts and their dynasty is almost entirely automated. Unfortunately, the dynasty seems to hold this invasion against not just the rebellion, but the federation as well. What the hell is the dynasty? Oh my god. <sighs> the ghosts are biological mysteries, and so is much of the dynasty's history. Maybe if they weren't so busy blaming the Federation for the rebellion, they'd actually calm down and explain, but what are the chances of that? Oh no. A burst of ghost static blasts through your ship. The Federation knows it is not welcome to intrude on these fair lands. Hmm. Expect not to leave without a skirmish, you fiend. We have to fight them, we don't have a choice. Okay, uh, uh let's repair. That's the only chance we've got to survive. Oh, good, they have cloaking. Brilliant. And they've boarded the ship. Oh, God, no. Oh! Stop doing that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hit their shields. And, and, and hit their shields. Oh my god, that like instantly nearly killed us. Uh, okay, you need to stay on engines because we need our dodge chance. You go repair. Nope, that's done us. That's unfortunate in the extreme. Don't... What? They just one last shot just to finish me off, huh? That's cool. Yeah, great. Cool. Stats. The warning. It did. Not bad for my first try. This mod is dope. It's really fucking cool. 
I got an achievement, which is to be well informed, and that's it. I got no other achievements because I suck and I'm a loser. Damn, that's cool. Only hurts a little, I promise. Do I have I unlocked any ships per chance? Have I unlocked it? I would love to unlock a ship. Just one ship? No ship for me. Okay, I'll have to keep playing on this ship then. This ship is very cool. I like it a lot. I just wish I had another ship, you know? I want to play with more ships. But yeah, that was FTL uh, Multiverse, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. This mod is really fucking cool. It's really fun. There's a lot more here than I was expecting, like genuinely. Um, oh god, now, now that I've finished shouting and... And, and dealing with stressful situations, my um, my illness has caught up with me. Uh, yeah, no, really cool. I really liked it. Um, I'd be more than happy to do more of that if you guys are interested. Let me know what you think. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Slol, Anthony Vienko, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewort, Tom King, Majoko Maimon, Adash Sanchev, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, MB Elias, Lord Skullington, Jessica C, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Lepalolbi, Kbub, Magical, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Sawald, Warmaster Oku, SCP 106A, Nomad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you all so much for watching. This is really cool. It really is kind of like an FTL 2 to be honest. It's just the game, but so much more. I can't think of anything about this that I don't like. There was nothing about that that... I think the internal system is maybe a bit overly complicated, but... Then again, I never really delved into it much, so... I don't... I don't really... <sighs> Considering what I'm like with games, I don't really consider complicated as being much of a complaint, unless it is excessively complicated, because I like stuff that's in-depth. I like to be able to sink my teeth into things. So, yeah, I wouldn't even say that that was a complaint, to be honest. It's just a bit overwhelming for a new player, but hey, if I wasn't LPing, I probably would have sat here and actually read through a lot more of the tutorial and uh, database entries and stuff like that, which probably would have told me a lot more of what I needed to know. But, uh, yeah, I'll do that off camera. Let me know if you want to see more. I'm gonna go lie down, because <laughs> I'm fucked, but thank you so much for watching. Remember, after next time, and more of this if you want. If not, there'll just be something. Either way, hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.